Cinnamon Coney here, our Sherpa, and we're back at the easel in a big way. We have so much for you this lesson. This is the most I have ever given to my community, to my students in a lesson ever. I have like literally hit all the stops, done all the things. John has done all the things. On the mic is my husband, John. Hello. He made it possible for us to even be here at the easel today by very quickly building an easel setup. <laughs> wiring it all in and lighting it so everybody give john a bit of a hand there's some stuff today about doing this step-by-step -step painting so this i've called this santa sleigh but it's a vintage red truck with a christmas wreath and it's in acrylic i'm going to show you step by step you can see we're doing a 16 by 20 and that's been about a minute right guys mm -hmm. so we're doing a bigger canvas today what if you didn't have a bigger canvas that's okay because you could do an 8 by 10 and that'll work really well with your free traceable if you check the description below, there's the information about the materials, but there's also, and at the end of the show, there'll be a chapter bookmarking because I do the live shows after we're done. I'll make sure that they're marked by chapters so you can skip through and get to the part of the lesson you need most. It's so much easier. If you look down there, there's a link to our website. On our website is now, oh my gosh, a mini book PDF that you can download. It has every step. It has messages from me to you. It has some safety info about how to hang your art. I'm going to be using this myself to make sure that your lesson and my lesson match up. That way you guys have all the things you need. Even if you're a super, super beginner, you're going to be able to really get a great painting. If you thought like painting party places were great, this is going to blow your mind. In fact, I'm like going to throw down and say this like can be the coolest like acrylic lesson that we've done in the years we've been on YouTube. And there's a giveaway. Mm. Oh, we love a giveaway, right? So uh, we've got a little mouse pad and the mods will drop links. You can just enter. You don't have to be here for this one. Uh, uh, you just got to fill out the little thing and maybe one lucky winner will get a mouse pad from today's painting. If you really, really, really want one, we went ahead and made a few so you could grab them off of our store. Are you guys ready? Is everybody ready? Pretty good. Who is happy to see the music back? Oh, man. I think that the, everyone's happy to see the music back. I think we could all use a little bit more music, though. Oh, well, guess what? At the end of the show, because we always felt like we sign off, you guys are still visiting. You're still saying goodbye, making plans, doing stuff. So the end screen is going to show a nice little holiday scene. And in that, you guys will get the entire Heart Party song. So it gives you a half second to say goodbye. That way, when I say bye-bye, you have your time to say goodbye. Because sometimes I get off air pretty suddenly, don't I? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. All right. So today also, we have the steps during the live video. What? We do. So the steps in your booklet will match the steps in the video and all that stuff. I think the first thing we need to tell you guys, what materials are we using today? Mm, let's see here. We got some materials. These are also in the description. They're also in your booklet. Uh, we've got our 16 by 20 canvas, our cadmium red medium, our cad yellow medium, our ultramarine blue, phthalo green, burnt sienna, Mars black, fluid white. That's optional. It just helps with splatter. And I have a whole video about how to do better splatter and snow and stars and all those things. I'm using an eight cat's tongue, but you could use a filbert or a round. I'm using a number four round, my splatter tool, my sea sponge, a big brush where I need it, chalk and a T-square. So those are the awesome sassy little uh things that you guys have for today i'm in the towel because bubbles oh and let's do this again because bubbles are back texas snowflakes just because i'm not in texas and i get real snow now doesn't yeah. mean that i don't still love my texas snowflakes i'm kind of excited this feels like super nostalgia for me yeah super nostalgia who is pumped to paint this Everybody. i'm pretty pumped the other thing to know is that, yes, we finally broke down and opened up channel memberships. What does that mean? Uh, it just means I thought the custom emoji feature was really cool. So if you too want to have a uh, little badge and a custom and custom little emojis, feel free to do that. It isn't required. It's just a fun other thing. Uh, it doesn't affect your patronage over on the website or any of your lessons or any of that. It's just emojis, just the emote. Just the emote. Just the custom stuff. Because I'm going to, you know me, I'm going to be crazy with the emojis. So I'm very excited about that. Let's hop on in. Okay, hold on just a second here. Let's see. Uh... I'm going to switch here. We're going to talk about this a little oh. bit. Oh. oh, there you go. You can see the palette we're going to be painting from. We can zoom in on that. So I have started with the canvas black, yeah. right? And 
I have gritted in. I use a massive T-square to do this or a table with my shorter T-square. Um, so I really needed to pre-grid it up for you guys before. This is done every two inches horizontally and vertically. And then what you do is, and you guys have this reference. You have both the reference and the instructions. You basically find the contour line of what is just in the square, and you draw that in with the chalk. Now, if you've got the booklet, do take some time to go over your techniques that you're going to be covering, the color mixing extra guide, and uh, my extra notes about be nice to yourself because I said so. Yeah. So that's where you kind of want to get there. And I want to give everybody a chance to like run over and print out that PDF because I know you guys are super excited right now. You're like, I got my stapler, I've got my printer. You can also just have it digitally. I have it digitally on my iPad. And it works just fine there as well. And I put it in the Art Trooper group official. I've just put it everywhere. I even put links up on Pinterest. I'm like, have the free info. So is, so is step one just to draw all this in? Step one is to either get this on your canvas by tracing or to get this on your canvas by using the grid method. I'm going to finish up a few of my grid lines to give you guys a chance to catch up. If you want to do the 16 by 20 and you want to use the tracing method, um, there is a program. It's going to sound like I said an uh, incredibly dirty word, but I'm not about to. It's Rasturbator. Be careful that you spell that correctly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rasturbator, and it will help you print out your uh, traceable in tiles so you can do it any size. It's a long time thing we used to do on the show when we did all big canvases. So it totally works, but again, you can do an 8 by 10. And you start with it black. Let me, uh, I'm going to put my wonderful, wonderful paints aside. Yeah. And all my cool tools. I am painting Sennelier today. Professional grand paint. The acrylique. Because I like it. I got my sea sponge. I got some uh, really cool uh, little tools aside. These are all the brushes that I'm intending to use today. Oh. This is just all of them. Just in, This is all I'm intending to use. John is working on his switching. <laughs> He's like, man, it's been a minute. And got my peel paper palette in my cup of coffee. So let's get into, this is one of the chalk tools that I like. It's a general chalk pencil. And what you can do, I like to have uh, rulers Basket. around so that I have nice straight lines because that'll be the big thing. Making this go. And I'm going to finish up some of my little detailing. What I find is on the grill, here's a little grill tip. Grill tip, guys. You want this angle of the grill and this angle of the grill to match. So in your, to your best ability, try to draw them at the same angle that you can. A lot of this is covered by wreath, so it's very forgiving. That's why I only put it at a two hoot. Mm. And if you have the owl emoji like Raheel does, hit up your two hoots. Thank you, Raheel. I really appreciate that. That's really cool. It's so crazy. I'm used to being like face in the, like look up and see everybody on the green screen because it's been so long. Oh, yeah. You know? And so here I am having to like really sort of think about that. Now, I may move my little bards up and down, but this helps me get uh, a nice kind of straighter line. The other thing that I want to talk to you about is... You can be kind of right or wrong on this. Um, if you look here, there's so much snow, there's so much stuff, you've got a lot of forgiveness for yeah. boo-boos. And John's a car person and he was still happy, so I'm telling you, it works. Uh, this is the most forgiving car that I've done. Oh, thank you so much, Christine. And thank you, Patty. I really appreciate the super chat, it really helps. Um, Definitely, definitely helps me get that energy going for them PDFs. I want to know if you guys want to see this forever, never, never, never in your world. Yeah. I think they do. So I'm going to put out my ultramarine blue and my little color palette. I will mist it. I'm going to need to get a humidifier, John. Yeah. I think to uh, definitely need a bunch of CAD red today. What if you didn't have CAD red? You could use naphthol red medium just fine. Could you? You could, and you wouldn't be sad. You wouldn't be sad about it. You would be glad about it. I love having this big, giant palette. I feel like I have so much room. Makes me so happy. And we're going to actually do another thing in this class. We are going to do little deep dives on the color mixes because I want you guys to feel like you can do these color mixes with your eyes closed. 
So I actually have acrylic paper over here to demo that stuff. I think you guys are going to like that too. And that will also kind of match into your PDF and help you make the most of this lesson. So I'm super excited. I'm excited. I'll go back over the colors again that I just put out. So you guys are familiar with what it is. But again, we have it in the description, PDF, and in the intro of the lesson. So we are not trying to mess with you. Yes. So what I have here is cad yellow, burnt sienna, thello green, ultramarine blue, cad red, Mars black, and titanium white. And the first thing that I kind of want to put in is some of my red. Let's go over the red mixes just real quick so we understand how we get there. Here's my little paper. And I'm going to get my little cat's tongue brush and a cup of water where I have access to it. Access to my cup of water, get it, get my brush wet. I'm going to get my brush wet. And then the first basic mix that we have, right, is our pure CAD. But as we go to deepen that CAD to take it into like slightly more in shadow, we're going to add ultramarine blue. The more ultramarine blue that you add, the deeper the red is going to get. It will not go purple because there's a hidden primary within these color mixes, which means that because there's a bit of a yellow bias in the red and there's blue and red there, you end up with a primary mix. If you need to go darker than this, guys, you're going to come in and add a little of the black here. Now, for the highlights on our car, Ooh, I just made the whole table shake. <laughs> For the highlights on our car, we're going to come here, and we are going to do the red and a little bit of the blue, right? But this time we'll go into the white, and that will be the highlight on our car. Man, I'm over here. There's so many chat supporters and... So that's how you're going to get those mixes for this car as we go through. And you can always go back to this and see this. All right, John? We forgot to put up the step one for the grid. So let's hit that. I, I put up a step one earlier. Oh, did you? Then let's hit step two because it's time. Are we on step two? We are on step two. Are you sure? I'm super sure. Because I have this thing. If I put it up, it goes, ooh, step two. Oh, there it is. So then I have to wonder, though, if is step two the next part of this where we have the, do we need to show them the next the next. Yeah, one? show them. Picture in picture so they can see. This, this is the next part we're going to do. Yes, that's what we're doing right now. We're going to be doing that. 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 That right there. That right there. Okay. And uh, after we paint in the red, I'll show you how to get the uh, gray-blue mixes that we have on there. And this is all, again, written up definitely, definitely, for sure, for sure, all the way on your PDF. I've got mine right here. So I can also use it as well, wherever I'm going to put it. I don't know. <laughs> Your own little reference chart. My own little reference, but in my own little reference, I put my cat's tongue somewhere. Crazy, I think. All, All right. right. So I am also, I think, going to move that line down a bit. So let's, oh, don't get in the coffee, girl. <laughs> let's just start with the base of a little bit of the altering blue and the cad red. We're going to make that mid-range. We just mix that up, and we are going to paint most of this in, all this red sort of area in. With that going on, I might move this down just a bit, and that's okay. Painting all that in. Just paint the whole thing that's supposed to be red with the red. Are you using titanium white? I am using titanium white. I am using titanium white. Now I noticed that we didn't this this surface started off pre pre-painted black. Did you have wishes on there ahead of time? I did. I had a wish for Alex's nanop to be okay and a wish for a happy and safe season for everybody everywhere. Oh, so we got our wishes in there. There's some folks asking about wishes. So they were in there. Oh, okay. Jennifer so uh definitely definitely we have a file in our uh Facebook group for wishes. And I will make sure that I have those all collected together. We may even start doing a cool thing with them. Not that everything we do isn't cool. It is. It's all cool. But we're going to start kind of also featuring those out a little more as well. And remember, wishes are just wishes. 
They're just optimisms. It's just getting in that state of optimism. If you would prefer to do a prayer, that is okay too. Whatever is right for you. I am just using a little cat's tongue to come in here. And you can see that I'm able to paint out a lot of what I've got going on here. Where I'm going to have shadow, I will not paint out my chalk. And my grill, my bumper, is so wonderful because it's literally one of the two-inch squares. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it made the bumper super easy to do. I'm going to paint this all in initially this color with this brush. Uh, Mary Meyer says she needs more coffee. I, I say need I need two. more sloppy. <laughs> I need more coffee in the two. There's not enough coffee, is there? There isn't enough coffee. And we're just painting this in. We want to get this dark enough where, you know, we can see the shadow. We can see the shape of everything. You know, so maybe it's a little darker right here. And when we want it to be darker, we go more into the ultramarine blue, don't we? And if we really need to deepen it, we go into the black. We know. We've heard. There's been some info on it. What kind of truck is this? The butcher's wife says, you know what, man? A red one. It, it, it didn't say in my reference. <laughs> So I have no idea. Uh, old farm truck, red? I'm kind of guessing by the shape of the front end. I think it's an international. It could be. It, grabs it may be a Dodge, but I think it's an international. Who knows? I don't do cars. You do cars. Cars are not my... My forte, as they say. I think here where it's under the grill, we can go ahead and get a little red and our ultramarine blue and maybe even some black in there because we need it to be pretty dark. Yeah. And that'll be okay. You should have a nice flow of paint on your brush. Right? Again. And... Put in kind of a shadow in here and maybe under the headlight. Just a nice little rough it in. This is sometimes we call this an underpainting. I can't believe we're going 60 by 20. It's been so long since we've done that. Callie says her coffee has started right now. And Ken A says he's addicted, I'm assuming, to coffee. But, you know. And then Patricia's like, hey, guys. And I'm going to say, hey, Patricia, how are you doing today? So, super, super live. All the things you're seeing today are live. And if you have a question about what's going on, we are here to answer. Don't forget to enter for your chance to win a mouse pad of this painting. Signed by me. Should probably start with that. I'm never like, oh, it's signed by me. That'll be exciting. And then I forget to mention it. <laughs> a little bit brighter red right here. Yeah. Because we're going to be talking about this being maybe a little more in sunlight. We'll certainly be catching some snow on it and everything. And then we'll come back and add a bit of a shadow with my black right here. And curving. Little blend up. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Look at us go. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Oh, that was a good switch, babe. That was a good switch. We are getting there. We have a little bit more to go. Mary Youngblood says, how do we enter? A link is going to be dropped by the mods. There's also uh, uh, Raheel, is Sherpa reading the Facebook? I don't think we have a Facebook simulcast today. Nope. We didn't simulcast today. We had so many new things going on. I couldn't take on that one extra new thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be too worried about this part of the car. It's a lot of snow up here. So, you know, you're only going to be showing a little bit of the red. So you're okay on that. I 
And I do want to leave the crack, but I'm going to be coming back with black paint to paint that so I don't have to do it perfectly. Again, painting this whole thing. What, you know what's great, John? What's is, that? Well, but for the um, fact that there's scary equipment behind me, um, I could, like, uh, stand back and paint. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got to do the slats, and I found it was, like, easier to, like, switch brushes and kind of get them in, so let's get them in. There are four of the slats that happen. I'm going to also come here to the side and make sure I have this. But you'll see that I leave a little side area to darken it. You can do the same over here, but it's barely visible, so you don't have to be as particular. And we're going to just get this loosely in. So you're going to come here, and in about the same angle, you're going to just make four lines. It's okay. If you kind of are going to have to come back with your round brush or your bright and kind of fix those lines, the important thing is that you make the lines. They are going through here, and we connect them to the center. Just that's all you've got to do to get those little grid lines. How is this working today? Seems to be working pretty good. Jenny Gilbert says, Cinnamon and John, I love the red track. I'm definitely going to paint this. I just want to thank you so much for your time and effort to make the painting fun and easy. That is good to hear because I do, we do really want to make the paintings fun and easy. It's important. A little bit here. So we got to go space, space. It's interesting. There's a pretty good space here where the gray is going to go. So I'm going to just loosely sketch it just so I have it in my mind. Like, oh, there's a thing there. And then I'll start my next four. Real slats. Just going down this way. Continue, continue, continue. Uh, Mackenzie says, can we do another large canvas? Oh, the two together. Well, probably pretty soon in the future. Right now I'm going to get back on to uh, doing some more 16 by 20s on a regular basis. Right? And then uh, we'll probably also do pairs to do large florals and things because those are fun. We're going to do the little sketchy thing that we did before. So we leave a little space for the gray, for the black. And then we come down about an inch and another little, like, little loose line. And then it's going to be the four. Again, just kind of loosely getting these down here. Remember, you're coming back with black, so if you have any mistakes, don't stress on it because you're going to have a chance to come back and do something about it. The big thing is breathe. Watch your body posture. Oh, my goodness. I love, I love all the little emojis. <sighs> Ken A is like, this is going to make a nice card. I think it will. I think it would make a very nice card. We do the same on this side. I'm not even sure with this setup that I can have John get me coffee. <laughs> no, while I'm switching like this, I can't go do that. Got to make sure that this is here. I'll have to come back and put a shadow in there just because it's got a lot going on. Once I get the... Uh picture and picture stuff set back up so that I can uh, throw up a easel or I can throw up a palette and picture and picture which I probably could do right now but then you're stuck with an easel and a picture okay I don't know what that means but I trust you well I mean you remember I like I could I could leave it on the left hand over your shoulder camera and give them a palette with a picture and picture but then I'm not switching. So if you turn around to talk to everybody, they won't yeah. see it. That's true. And it gets kind of static. Is that a drip? It is a drip. Okay. I wasn't sure. Just a drip. We're not stressed on it. It's just a drip. Little, easy, non-stressy. 
little slats. Because again, we'll come back through and go underneath there. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. No. So there we go. That's the red. I'm going to sip my sippy. Sip the sippy. I'm going to blow my bubbles and sip my sippy. Some I think bubbles. people will enjoy that. Had lots of wonderful super chats. You got, you know what? The camera's <laughs> right next to the bubble machine, so it looks like it's like a bubble gun. Like, pow! It's like a bubble, bubble storm. It's a bubble storm. Storm. It's a new X Men bubble storm. Mm. That's it. It would definitely be a DC hero. I'm in the DC thing, isn't it? Batman! What? So. Batman's superpower is he's rich. Yeah. It's a pretty big superpower, though. <laughs> I'm not honest. saying, but I mean, <laughs> just so we go into like, you know, what his deal is I'm not, I'm not smarter than you. I'm not stronger. I'm just rich. <laughs> so to do the gray, the gray is basically our black and white and a smidge of our ultramarine blue. That's our basic gray. Basic gray. Basic gray. I'm going to make a lighter basic gray. So you can kind of see those here. And there's just a little bit of blue on it. That's what you're doing. You can add a little more, but it is nice to keep it a little less blue so it doesn't blend into the headlights. You don't need it to blend into the headlights now, do you? So we're going to come down the center. And then each of these sidebars, and I do take the sidebars past the little red bar a little bit, and we'll all put those in with shadow. It's just pretty simple, pretty chill, just back and forth. If you haven't painted on your big easel in a minute, if you haven't been on your uh, canvas in a minute, you may find that it's a little fatiguing, and that's normal. Yeah. yeah. You got to build up your stamina. Is the painting already on a cup, says Johnny? Is huh? the painting already on a cup, John? Cup. Oh, uh. I mean, he did one the, for me because he was testing right it there. for the store. I think that's what they saw is they saw your yeah. cup. And they I were like, is this on a cup? And the answer to that is, yes, it is on a cup. If you would like a cup, I can put them in the store. <laughs> I made one for cinnamon because I was like, huh, I wonder if this will go on a cup. And it does. That's pretty much. Yep, that pretty much sums up what happened. That pretty much sums it up. I need I you to like, he I heat my what cup. Like on a cup. I need you to heat my cup. I don't know. Are you up for that? Heating my I cup? Can. Let me adjust the iris. Ooh. I'll paint. I'm going to be on grill for a second. Here's it should be iris. time for you to heat a cup. Ah, so you got a little better. Adjust the focus a little bit. What are you going to be doing? Just I'm going to be doing grill and bumper. Grill and bumper? All right. <laughs> let me back out for a little bit. And, and then you can heat my cup and then. What I'll do is I'm going to put the. I wonder if I can do this. <laughs> I can create a number four overlay. Hold on. Picture in picture. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to shrink it on down. Over there. And then it's going to be. Anybody new comes in, let them know about the book, the mini book that they can download. Three. Oh, no, that's not it. They need to know oh, about ah, it. There it is. Okay. So that kind of does it. Uh. Now I gotta move this over here. Sometimes hey. I need to dip in water and just load up again. And if you need a little okay. blue, you get it. So if you stay on the grill, you'll be okay. Can I bumper or just grill? Uh, you can bumper the left part of the bumper. See, turn around, you can see. Oh, okay. Hair's there. Sorry. Do I need to stand back? You're okay. I've got you kind of grilled in. Stand back. Just sort of touching it up. And again, I'll come back through with my black lines to help these lines kind of come together. And then the trick is we're going to paint the whole bumper. Patty Brock's like, I've been away for a good minute and just trying to get myself together. Is TAS making books for sale now? And if I can I have the link? 
I do have a coloring book for sale, but the little mini booklet for this is free for download. If you're super, super grateful, you can, I don't know, join the channel and get some emojis or something for their patronage. But really, it's we have these up free because we know that you guys will get much better results with it. And I think it's going to make a huge difference. You know? I think it's going to make a huge difference in how much fun you have painting it and how much fun you have doing it. Thank you. So again, just the bumper. Oh, do I need to stand back? <sighs> Look at that. A little bit of that. A little bit of that, 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 that. All right. We're doing pretty good. I think so. Better than you think, right? Now, the headlights and the sky here are kind of an interesting little animal. I'm going to show you real quick on the blues of the headlights. And on that, it's basically uh, your ultramarine and a bit of your burnt sienna. If you do too much burnt sienna, it will um, gray out so badly that it won't um, look right for you. So you have that if you need it to be a little grayer, you can see how. That takes it there, and you add a little white. You get this value, and then a little more white to get that value. And those are the runs of mixes that we're going to be doing. Boy. We're still on step two. But as soon as we get these headlights in, then we'll be step three. So, and I will get to sip and blow some bubbles. Let's just paint these on in loosely. What, what you, oh, yeah, you're just getting the headlights? Headlights and then a little bit of sky. And then I guess uh weirdly enough the the little overhead thingy is the next step. Hmm. I I don't know, because I did it that way and I wrote down everything I did. Because <laughs> that's how it was. That's how it was. That makes me think of the talking heads. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more blue. That's uh, a nice round circle. You see, we're just getting this in. You guys have got this. You guys have it. You guys have it. All right. Uh-oh. My iPad's like doing the circle of death. Back there. All right. Now, sky right here. Okay, he's put he's put up the thing. So sky right here is just a lot more blue. I haven't rinsed out my brush. It does have a little bit of the burnt sienna in it and a little bit of the white. There we go. And you're gonna just brush this over. And I found it's like it's okay to do this very loosely, really painterly, in a very relaxed way. You do want it to be a super dark value. You know, because we're going to have it, we want the snow to stand out. I'm painting out all the black. But the black helps make the color more deep and rich. Because a lot of times blues are really rather transparent. It's a good time to kind of evaluate your lines. Make sure you're happy with your angles. Everything you've got going on. Stand back, look at it. Sip your coffee. Oh, he's not back yet. Don't sip your coffee. I am, but it's okay. I'll come and add some blue or do something, sir. I don't know why I've been like in this peppermint patty phase. It's really strange. <laughs> been like super Marcy lately. <laughs> I'm gonna sip my coffee and get fresh water. That's how. That's how it be. Is mm. it? Oh, all right. So, ah, so what have we done? Well, we've done everything in step two, <laughs> which is terrific. And we're going to be going on to step three. Uh, do you want to put up step three and give them do a picture? I? Yeah, Hold we'll on, sippy sippy. Here. And I we'll blow bubbles because we made it. Step three. We made it. We made it. We did step 
two, and we're going to go to do step three. And if you show them a picture of step three, I'll tell them a little bit about what they're doing. Well, let's see here. Step, oh, that's not step three. That's, that's not step three. That's step, that's maybe step three. There it is. There. there. <laughs> I'll find a <the> button. <laughs> I got some buttons back so, here. So this is, we're going to hit a little more red. We'll finish out the gray. Uh, we'll put in some shadow. We'll put in like some black lining. You know, refine anything, get those little grills more defined, kind of imply some of that grill stuff, kind of start to work out the headlight, give a highlight to the bumper, and begin the wreath. Mm. So lots to do in step three. Oh, so let's see your mug while you're here, since you're showing off. Mm. Ooh, what's it on the other side say? Just in case I forget who I am. The <laughs> For all of you, I don't know what it's like, but for me, it's like, who are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's who I am. That's, that's who I am. So that's what that is. That is that was, if, if, those are, if those are of interest, I can add them to the store. I have a whole. She wants them. We make, but we make them. Into Don't forget to enter for your mouse pad because we're giving away a mouse pad today and it will be signed by me. I will sign it. We'll sign this one. Mm -hmm. We'll put it in a little plastic and ship it to you. Shippy, shippy. Shippy, shippy. There's you round can have a mouse too. pad. Oh, yeah. We got round. I don't know if they're up yet on the store yet, though. Mm. We're going to be releasing the round ones soon, too. Da, da, da. Do we have any questions, anything, before I'm, like, killing Question. time? You're, why, why are you killing time? I need to rest for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been standing up in a while. Let's all be honest about it. It's been a minute, right? Good thing I have my gel pad under my feet. I would be exhausted. That's why I put it over there. Oh. We will be decorating as we go. We were lucky to get cameras on, mm. and nothing blew up, and none of the cables fried out. Hawk on wood on that one. Uh, what are you talking about? There's a pile of dead cables over there. Is there? <laughs> oh, no. These are the ones that survived the trip. <laughs> so what are we painting today? We are painting this. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Don't forget to download your free mini book so you can follow along and you have all the steps written down and color mixes and extra information. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going to do it next Saturday. I'm going to really try. We're going to keep, we're going to try to keep this up. This really is try. We're adapting. That's what's the reason why everything is, it's so hard to do it the first time. And then the second time it gets easier. Then the third time it's easier. And fourth time. Did we remember to know? I did. Okay. You know what I didn't do? What? Remember to fully paint the wall behind you. That's fine. We're <laughs> working it out. We got Step some things. Three. We got some things. So I'm going to start, I'm going to get my number four round out, and I'm going to kind of just think about some stuff that I've painted. I'm oh, going to get my black. Zoomed there. Somebody zoomed in on your palette over there. Somebody did? You? Must have been. Oh, I mean, no one else was here, so. I mean, you come in and we'll start to sort of refine the grill and the shadows and these things. It's just a little straight line. doesn't have to be perfect. Not required. It does help to have a little kind of uh, shadow, especially when we put all the busyness of the wreath on. The wreath is so busy that it really, really helps to have some oh, of that stuff yeah. defined. The lining makes a big difference. It really does. You know what I have an idea for? No. What do you have an idea for? Would you be a doll? just a total doll and go over to my artist knife and get me the biggest art flattest artist knife that I have. Yes. But I must say two things. Two things? Thank you, Patty. She says your hair is lovely. Thank you, Patty. And bubbles for Patty bubbles. <laughs> Patty. It's been so long since we've done this. They would like to know how to enter the contest and when the Christmas holiday kit will be available. Uh, the second one, John has the answer for. I have no idea what's going on um, with that because YouTube came and did a number on us. Um, but we will be painting holiday. What was it? Through the holidays. Um, I don't know about the kit. Uh, entering the contest, there'll be a link dropped in the chat, and you just go there and enter, and we'll announce who won it towards the end of the show and contact them and did you see? have yeah, a few well, days. You got one of those over there. Oh. That's, so what we're waiting on is. Do you want me to put it here? Oh, you can. There we go. Look at the ornament. All right, let me see. Boop. 
There it is. The yeah, ornament. there's an ornament. There's an ornament. See? There's an ornament. That's, you that's can gonna zoom be the... into it if you want. Okay, I can do that. That's going to be the Christmas kit. That's going to be in the kit. An apron. An actual apron now. I don't know if it'll... Yeah, i got to get my autofocus. Hold on. There we go. There we go. A little focused. But you can see it on there. It's got a nice little uh, print. I'm super focused in there. But it's a, you can move it around. It's shiny. I'm all like more enamored by my Zoom than anything else because I haven't had a Zoom camera in a while. Let's keep doing so, lines. Goodness gracious you. Oh, wait. Did you bring me my artist knife? Oh, no. That's what you were asking yeah. about. And then you distracted me. Because uh, I'm going to do a thing to make, make it there. a little easier when I'm painting with the it? easel. Just over there, there are palette knives over there oh. in the bucket. And just get me a big one, like a Scotty knife or something. Other table. It is organized, <laughs> kind of. Okay. Dude, you or you can say a grab a Scotty knife, but honestly, how many in there? Then you mock me, and, and you're like, "But would you say get it?" And then you, and then you have like every kind of knife. Like, what I is think this? this is the closest I what, have. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Or this? The, you're going to pound? I just don't want to have to keep going and getting paint off the palette, so. I'm trying to make my job easier. If I can get, my mom suggested this and I was like, I'll give it a try. My mom's going to be on uh, uh, da, 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 Monday huh? at night. Like yar. Nope, it's not working for me <laughs> <laughs> at all. And anyway, I'm not loving it. It was worth a try though. It might be good for like maybe trees or something. You ever have family members like, oh, this is weird. Taste it, taste it, taste it. That's my mom. You are you know, there's there's every kind of knife in here except a normal palette knife. <laughs> so, I mean, like there's things that look like they were medieval weapons. Oh, wrong one. Well, you know, I like to be ready for everything. Never know what is going to occur to me that I've got to do or teach everybody. So I like to have those supplies when necessary. War of the rose-colored paint. What about the rose-colored paint? What's going on with that? Well, there was the War of the Roses. Oh. Yeah. No. So you just, you know. That was a divorce movie. It was. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> it was also the war of the, um, uh, uh, Henry the Oh, you're thinking uh, history. Yeah. I'm thinking like popular culture. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> Tudors. The Tudors. Basically, the Tudor oh, War was the me. you know their uh, the aristocracy and the rise to power of the throne. Man, that's been so long since I've thought about any of that stuff. Like hundred years war, like you know, hundred years war. Wouldn't you get like tired of it? That's like some holding some grudge territory. We're making light lines. These are very light, sketchy lines. They are. And they'll come through when we come in with the, he the with the highlights on there, but this is really all you need right now. We're just making the light lines, and we're going to come and do the same thing on this side. Yay! <laughs> and again, it's wonderful because the wreath is here, so you've just got to capture the essence of it. Moderator Cat Red says she needs the ornament. And the butcher's wife is like, I never thought of using knives in watercolor. Yeah, no, we actually have a, we've done knives in watercolor. I have a lesson with that. They're wonderful. Ah. Yeah. If you ever need to move a, a little trim, you just come back. I'm going to get some red. You just come back and go, no, 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 I think you need to be here. And you can real easy fix it as you need. So don't feel like you're ever like, oh, no. It's just very sketchy and loose. Uh, Johnny, Johnny says, did not hear the answer regarding the kit. What, I don't know what the question was. On the Are kit. we going to have a kit, and when can they get oh, it? Yeah, so the, the deal on the quit, the quit, the kit is... Uh, we're waiting for the apron transfers to come in. We wanted to put a, a much nicer apron together this year. 
So matches we, the ornament. Yeah, it matches the ornament, and we ordered uh, athletic transfers from a company that does these really really cool. Uh, they're the, the, it's the same kind of transfer technology they used to make um, like jerseys and things like that. So it's a really really uh, resilient uh, heat transfer technology. So anyway. We ended up ordering all of our uh, transfers for the aprons from them, and we're using a higher quality apron. Uh, it's a little thicker, canvas, uh, pink, and you know, stuff like that. Anyway, so because we wanted to have a nicer apron, those took a little longer. And as a matter of fact, I think I should be getting that stuff together. You tell them what you're doing. I am going through, I'm going to outline the headlights with a little bit of this gray as well, this dark black. We're getting, we're just starting to put these shadows in. They're real loose. They're real sketchy. You don't have to be perfect right now. Okay. You just want to kind of get it on. Get it on the canvas. Get it on there. Get it on there. That's all you got to really worry about. I'm going to come through and where I've got, you know, like the little hood moment. And coming and making sure that that's a nice dark value. But to answer the folks' questions on that, I'm hoping to have uh, everything up and in the store before the holiday weekend, uh, this upcoming holiday weekend. So you should should be able to see it in there. Uh, man, I would I would we. I'll see what we can do in the next you know day or two. We'd like to have it up early in the week so it's early availability. But the real thing was, is I didn't want to post anything up until I had seen all of the product got, you know, in-house produced finally. And, uh, but that should be Monday or Tuesday. So. I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush, dry it off, load up some more black. And then we're also going to come here and we're going to talk a, a, a little about the hood ornament that is peeking through. Some. I want to start putting that in. I'll get into my gray, which, if you'll remember, was my black, my white, and a little bit of my ultramarine blue. Come on this side and put a highlight there. Just that, just that friendly and easy for us. Mm. Gonna come through and uh, also add some little bits of defining highlights on these sidebars. Don't need to be perfect. The wreath is really covering up so much of it that it's it's important that you just be relaxed with yourself. I might come here and kind of be more defined about maybe these edges here, but I'm not going to be too stressed about everything that's going on on the trim. This side I'm going to maybe have more of a highlight. It's just on the left hand side. And I just can't stress enough how is be relaxed about the trim. So much of it is covered with the wreath that you don't want to, you know, just wear yourself out doing the most perfect perfect trim. When it's going to have a bunch of pine needles over it. Mm -hmm. Ali says, uh, thank you, Cinnamon and John and everyone here. Also, please like and subscribe. If you like free art lessons like this and want to see more, yeah, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Comment after the show. Feel free to join the channel. Memberships to get your custom emojis and badges. Artwork from my daughters. Our next one we're going to do in the membership is uh, Luna designed a bunch of ba uh, uh, emojis, and so you guys are yep. going to vote on the emoji. She did pretty good, too, John. Yeah. I'm going to say, though, I found uh, YouTube to be, like, not... I think they should have been more generous with the emojis. I think we should just, like, have unlimited emojis. Yeah. I think it should just be unlimited and not like people 
centric. Like, oh, let me get it back up here. Whoa! Just making sure that this has some highlights over here as well. Getting those in. Starting to think about it. Another nice bit of gray trim that we're going to do is we're going to kind of come in here. A little black, a little white, a bit of blue. Number four round. Just lining this outer line. And we want to leave a little of the black showing, but we're kind of thinking about that little trim that's got going on there. Now, we know that there's a lot of other uh, teachers out there that recommend different paints and there's they all may have their reasons for using them and, and putting them on their shows and things. But in general, you'll find that we talk about and support products that we know have good manufacturing, that you guys are going to have a good experience with. And, um, you know, we know that there's, there's manufacturer support for them. And you can see us use them here on our show. If you don't see us talking about or using a product, it's either because it we have never legitimately used it or it doesn't meet sort of the things that we want to see out of products for our consumers or happens our more than you guys would think so if you uh that's that's some of the reasons why we we try to stick to the, the and it can change too because you have to realize companies change hands absolutely and we and, keep on that yeah and so sometimes a company was doing a really good job and they start doing a bad job i won't hide that from you and sometimes a company was doing a bad job and maybe they start doing a good job mm -hmm. i won't hide that either again don't be too worried about this we got a lot of branches <laughs> yeah so it's just it's just a little bit of a value thing but yeah be loose about it be relaxed about it it's not stressful it's not and I need to do more headlights and I got to do the shadow on the grill and then some green. So let's uh, add the shadow on the grill a little bit. Just a little more black and white, so darker gray. And again, a lot of branches and things will be on it. It's just nice to have this done. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a highlight. This will help it feel bumpery. Now in the headlights, we've got to start kind of trying to talk about, you know, what they've got going on. So I'm going to get a little of my just blue. I'm going to come around here. Now, a lot of folks were also asking, is there anything wrong with X brand or X paint? No, sometimes. Not ne so sometimes there is. But it's also sometimes it's not our place to necessarily comment on those things. So what we'll say is that you may be having success because you can paint with anything. You can, any brush, any paint, any material you can work with. That, But in price points, in performance, we tend to be consumer advocates of things we know. So here's what I do. Yeah. While I, unless I'm doing a review on a specific thing where I run into problems during the show on a specific thing, what I do is in my group mm -hmm. on Facebook, I let you guys tell us your customer experience. If you order something from a store online and we just had one come from a store and the paint had exploded in it, it was all over everything else they got and the store wasn't being particularly nice. I'll let that, I will let our community share that. Or if somebody has an experience and it's spectacular and they bought a bunch of stuff and they want to tell us, I don't mind that at all. That's totally allowed. And I let you guys talk about what brushes you like, what paints you're liking, what products you're liking. So you guys can help each other there too, because there's an experience for you that's very different than my experience. Amy wanted to know how I'm doing at the easel. I'm still here, Amy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get a little of my burnt sienna over to my blue. I'm going to get a little more white into it, making that uh, kind of brighter little reflection. And how we're going to do this is we're going to be just very, see how I kind of wiggled it? Yeah. We're going to just be real loose about this uh, little highlight. And we're going to put one uh, maybe a little bit on the top. 
come over here as well. And we're talking about these. There we go. Is that nice? And then I have a little bit I want a red I want to kind of touch up around the hood ornament. This didn't get there, so I'm gonna put it there. And I think that we are on as soon as we finish that, I get to sippy sippy. Mm-hmm. And we are on to our next step. Can you believe We're it? We're still wreathing here, aren't we? Huh? We still have to Oh, that's right. Wreath. That's right. Thank you. He's so good. Let me dry this. <laughs> well, I have, because see, look, I had the picture of picture right there. Look at that. Oh. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, look, I even had the mute thing ready. That works, too. So I can, I'm getting my buttons working. So thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it. It's really nice to see y'all. See y'all. We're getting our, our, easel groove back working here trying to figure it all out make it all work here so thank you guys uh yeah and we we really do we don't want to uh necessarily we, we want to make sure you guys have the best resources available what's fell that down. Fell down. you fell i'm gonna chalk my wreath chalk it yeah so i've got this dritz chalk tool this is a tailor tool you can get this at joanne's I like this chalk. Uh, there's no wax in it. There's nothing that it makes it permanent on the canvas. Um, and so it lets me do some little sketching. I'm going to sketch in the general sense of my wreath, which is this. You know, I do want some of my grill to show, so I've got to kind of think about that as I put my wreath in. That's a little bit off center. And then, you know, here we've got some branches that we know are going to be coming through here, and so I'll put those in. And it's just nice to know where things are going to be. Once I have that, let's talk about the green. All right. All right. Let's do the green. So in the greens, it's going to go like something like this. So first, you know, green mix is always going to be burnt sienna and phthalo green. And you'll see that takes it into a nice forest kind of color. You can add more brown to get more forest. And then from there, I will add a little more yellow. even perhaps a little more yellow. You can get into your white. If you put a little more blue and white into it, it goes a little more mint. Mm. So those are the ranges that we're gonna be using to get our wreath in. How's that working? Is that working out, guys? Does that yeah, help? I think that does. Woo, it's a big piece. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, wreath in, and we're gonna do two values of wreath. We are going to do our deepest value and our next value up. Okay. So those are the two we're going to do to get in. And I'm going to show you how we get those done. I'm going to rinse this out. I'm probably going to need to get another fresh cup of water after this. But the basic wreath color, again, is burnt sienna and phthalo green. And I'm going to come here. And we're just going to flick out a little bit of wreath yeah is what you do and you can see it does it absolutely takes up a lot of our grill I'm just using my number eight cat's tongue and I'm just flicking out little flicks and look, it just makes little pine needle looking things. So that you have your little bows. Bows, bows, bows. Thalo green is a bit transparent. Burnt sienna is a bit transparent. It is through the layering that we managed to make this thing work. Ah. Uh -huh. oh, went over to the side a bit. That's okay. We've got a lot of bulbs and things going on. So I can, uh, if I need to, I can turn the canvas. Remember, it's a better idea to turn the canvas than yourself, whether you're sitting, whether whatever you're doing.
This is layer one, ready layer one. Yep. Uh, Cat Lady says she loves this painting. And I say thank you, Cat Lady. I appreciate it. We're just looking. Just looking now. You can do this with any brush. You don't have to have this exact brush. I love this brush. It's a good brush, but you don't have to have this brush to be a happy person. <laughs> I promise. I just got to get this in. I'm thinking of even going back and like revisiting some of my like, you know, popular yeah. lessons and figuring out like how we might want to rethink them. So you get this kind of like greeny mess in. Get your green mess in. I'm gonna take a little of my brown to my green. Still that deep color, but this time we'll add a bit of yellow to it. And we just come through and we kind of create these little layers. See, I'm piecing that in. Yeah. There's a lot to do to create this, so it's nice to have the buildup. If you get too bright, go into your darker color. And don't take out all your dark value because that will make your wreath disappear. So you've got to figure out that balance of that was pretty pretty yellow, so I might want to get a little more green into it. And you can see I'm just licking out little brush strokes. Need to improve flow, dip in the water, get in the paint, don't stress and get more in the toe of your brush if you need finer needles. Don't forget to flick in the middle as you're making kind of, so this is like a little fan, right? You got to flick through the middle. If you just go here and just go here, it will leave the center of your wreath seeming kind of baldy. Oh. And now you can see where I was like, don't, don't like kill yourself on the on your grill. Here we go. Doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good. There you go. And remember, right after the live, I will mark these steps and chapters so you can find them again. Just hitting those timestamps. It'll make it so much easier for you. All right. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica Martinez says, I want to know how she draws the circle uh, so well each time. Uh, I do the multi-circle method, so I go around and around and around. Oh. And then eventually I center. <laughs> There's a bunch of tricks to do, like, a much better circle than what I do. A bunch. A bunch. But they all kind of involve rotating the canvas and keeping a uh, certain pivot still. And so it's not really practical for what we do here. Now this. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. So we've gotten all our mixes. We've covered all our mixes. All right, we finished step three. Boom, step three, all done. Is that? Step three, guess what? Are we on? Step four, let's bubble it up. Let's step bubble. Step four? Let's bubble. Let's, I'm bubbling. Let's You're bubble. Bubbling. Let's bubble. Let's bubble. Oh, 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 step four. We did it. Step four. John is laughing over here, so now I don't want to stop. <laughs> oh, turn those off. But see, see, now next for step four, you need to do these things, don't you? Uh, Amy Obert says, I'm looking gorgeous, just so I know. You are looking Thank gorgeous. Thank you so much. So it looks like we're going to put some more stuff on the grill. Oh, it's just layers and some highlights now. And some highlights now? Those highlight colors we talked about in the beginning, it's a good time if your colors are dirty, if your water's dirty, you're going to need to change your water. I'll give John some. 
And actually, um, it'd be a wonderful time for more coffee, but I don't know what. We don't have a break set up, so. He just looked at me and went, no. <laughs> he did. And he, got, he just did the. So I think he's feeling. It's a lot. The switching on the easel setup is a lot more than the switching on our table setup. We'll still do table for watercolors in smaller, more like detailed involved pieces. So it won't ever just go away. It's just we'll be doing these, I think, on Saturday. You know, going forward, I've got uh, one I'm designing up for next Saturday. I think you guys are going to really like. That was a community suggestion I'm kind of excited about. So we're just going to keep going forward and getting this. Um, I'm excited. I, I'm glad to be here. Uh, a lot of people are asking, like, how am I doing at the easel? Well, it literally has been uh, since my moment <laughs> where I was actually totally fine. It just we were concerned that I was not fine. Um, and they had to do all the tests and everything. And we kind of, like, took it down uh, to here. It, it's been how long? I don't It Could it be six months since I've been at the easel? Guys, has it been six months since be. I've been at the easel? It could be. So, man, I need to stretch. Yeah. Don't forget to download the book. It's free. It's booklet. Bookish. Mini book. <laughs> it's. Hey, it's 10 pages, so <laughs> two sides. Yeah, it's booklet. It's a booklet. Oh, so good. So, it's step four. Here? Step four is going to be uh, a lot of fun. We are going to uh, refine. Everything that's going on here, we're going to get some highlights. We're going to uh, add some, uh, like, little layers here. You know, we're going to be uh, wreathing it up, wreathing it up, wreath, 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 wreath. So we've got a little bit, you know, we got to get a wreath in here, and we got to get some highlights. We don't have to do the white highlights yet, so it's just more of this. Let's go more here. Let's just go more there. Since we're already loaded up and we've got the green and brown out anyways, right? right? So green and brown like we had before. But here, I like to come up uh, the car maybe a little bit. And I'm going to just sort of create maybe a little more defined bows. I just bring those little brush strokes out in a fan. And I will... Make sure that there's this full wreath feel. The car hasn't driven anywhere yet. Or Santa's sleigh is magic, and so therefore all of the needles stay on. <laughs> uh, the butcher's wife, how long does that booklet take to put together? That is amazing. It took a minute. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. I will get faster. Uh, right now, I'm pretty sure I can pull off one a week. Mm-hmm. Um, I will try to get it to two, but for sure one. And then uh, our goal is to, once we get all our publishing stuff worked out, release Acrylic April ourselves, and then also to um, start releasing these in collections for you guys. Yeah, we'll have some printed versions of these available. All bound and pretty. All bound and pretty. But right now, we got to get now. consistent. <laughs> Consistency is key. So this is the number of cats thing, you know, and I'm still here. I'm not like moving to another little brush. I'm still here. There now, like go. right here, I might, and uh, here, I'll do a thing. Like if you want to go here, I'll go yeah. here. So like, you know, here we are, and we're just pulling these out. There you go, the other side. Okay. There you go. I can see there. So we're just pulling those away, let you guys see what's what. Little flicky, flicky, flicks. Flicky, flicky, flicky! It does sometimes help to say flicking, but, you know, to each their own. <laughs> And you can see how I was like, you know, don't don't kill yourself on certain details because we have so much wreath to put over it. And we do want little pops of range and color to show through, but it's important that we, you know. Let's do the highlighted little layer that you do before you really get into it. 
takes about three to four layers of the wreath for it to look as full as it needs to. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Uh, chat. Stephanie Willis wants to know any update on the Disney license? No. Nothing. We tried. But no. no news yet. If you work there and you'd like to have me have a license, that would be cool. <laughs> I think I'd be a fantastic official Disney artist. I do. I think I'm very in keeping with that. Mm -hmm. Lily says she's sorry she's late, but she brought donuts. Thank you for bringing the donuts, Lily. Thanks. You know how we are. Um... May Kelly, I looked on the Sherpa's website, and I still can't find the download for the coloring book. Okay, there's not a download for a coloring book. The coloring book is something that you can buy. It comes with colored pencils. There's a download for the step-by-step, -step, uh, and the mods can drop two links. If you go to the project page, it's there, and it says click here, and you can click the picture or the link, and then you've got to click the little PDF. It's a teeny, tiny little PDF symbol that's like on the right or the little eye looking thing with the arrow looking down neither one is large <laughs> so it's a bit of a find it but it's there uh, the coloring book is one that we just have for sale uh, I did this in collaboration with my friend Stephanie Bergeron and it's all inspired by the different paintings that you guys love and have done with me over the years so it's super fun and it's all like mandala, relaxing, awesome. And it comes with, uh, I sign it and it comes with a set of watercolor pencils. This, this is where I make kind of the turn, which is why it ended up having a light so I could hide the light. This takes a minute. Just going. Bigger surface. Bigger surface. There we go. Woo! Excellent. Now, rinsing out thoroughly. And we're going to start putting on, um, you know, some more some more uh, highlights, some more details, some more, just a little bit of everything. So okay. we're going to work everything a little bit more. I will grab my little reference here so that we are on the same page. And the first thing that I'm going to say is, like, let's take out some red and get a little smidge of blue into it, but just a bit. Just so it's like tinted in tone. And we're going to get some white. And you're going to get this almost almost kind of uh, coral here but it has a bit of that blue tone to it so it seems like it's reflecting the sky some and you're going to put it in a couple places let's put some let's put some rain right here very loosely brushed in let's put some under here kind of showing in between our little things i definitely want to put some over here and we do put some here, but keep in mind there's a lot of snow, so don't get like, oh, no. That's the white into that. And let's on this side of the ornament. And if I need to, I can kind of negatively space paint back into my pine boughs just to show it. Maybe a little bit here. Definitely some right here. All right, doing pretty good. Now, I will come through. I need this to be a slightly darker value, so I'm going to get my red and some of my blue. You remember how we did that at the beginning? And if you had to deepen it, what did you take it into it? You took some black into it. So let's just make sure that this is a little bit darker. And you can just wiggle that in, be very painterly. Okay. 
So we've got that there. And now we need to do pops of pure red. Are you guys ready to do pops of pure red? Pops of pure red? Pops of pure red. So I'm going to get just Sounds some pad exciting. red. I'm going to come here and kind of come over my headlight. A little bit underneath. A little bit there. All right, I have to put a little of my shadow back there in a second, but that's no problem. I'm going to go right here for just two seconds, babe. Some pure red coming down here. And then maybe right here in the center. Little bits of, yeah, we love it. We know we do. I'm a little around the headlight, maybe a little bit over there. Just about finding those little moments. It's interesting how you call them little moments. We all need a little moment. We've got another layer of these wreaths going by, so we're okay. You know, if you've got a space that you've got to come back and repair, you're okay. I'm going to get some of the red on my brush again. And just a couple spots where the wreath is showing. That nice. It's a little pop of wreath. Looking good. Mm -hmm. I think I need some of my highlight color there. One little spot right here. Maybe coming back with some white reflection. So that'll help that pop. So that's where we are there. We have a little more headlight nonsense to get into. Yeah. I'm going to take a little of my blue. White. A little bit of it there. All these lines sort of inform the shape of it, inform what it is. I do want to come through, I think, with my detail brush and just kind of refine the black that I painted out. This is my number four. Get my black loaded on it. And also, so I'm going to come here and make sure that my hood is lined. Lined, yes. It's got a little bit of that because I lost it. Those gaps are very important to car people. Are they? Because the, if the gaps are even, that means that the body panels are lined up. Oh, well, no, my car is very artisanal. <laughs> well, it's interesting that the, the, the <laughs> fact that there's a little, a, a consistent little black gap in it indicates that there's good body work behind it. Okay. So it it's funny how even though it's painterly and loose and, and not like what you would consider realistic. Uh, it does, it has these, these things like that inform someone who would be a car person that, you know, it implies more than what's there. That's always nice. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Little bit of details. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. 
We're on to step five. We're cooking with fire now. Are you? I need to hair dry this though. Okay. While she hair dries that, we'll go over there and take a look at it and say, don't use heat. You guys know that stuff. Don't use the heat on there. Don't forget to check out our website, theartsherpa.com. There's lots of cool stuff like that PDF thing that Cinnamon was playing with earlier that uh, you saw her using. That's available for download out there. You can find out information about that in the link in the description down below. Uh, you know, all the good things that you need to know. We appreciate you guys coming hanging out. Um, there you Woo! Woo! So there we go. We're going to be heading on to step five. Step five? Yep. Step five. Mm. Step five, we are going to add the bright reflections uh, where they go. We are, we're going to even add them to like the grill and different parts. And we're also going to refine the wreath. Huh? You don't see that? I have it up there. Oh, okay. I have it here. <laughs> okay. I has it here. <laughs> it's notes. Teaching from the top. So that's where we're going to be going. It is a good time if your water's dirty to change your water. My water is certainly dirty. And now we're going to really kind of come in and add some of those refining moments to the pine needles. So let's load up just a smidge this time. Not that much of the burnt sienna into the green. Let's go ahead and add a little white into it. And you'll see, as we talked about in, in the thing, that goes a little more mint. All right, so we're going to get that kind of going. And let's go through and I'm going to make sure it's nice enough and let's mint it up. Ooh. Pop that in there. Little bits of these. So none of it's really bright. You can even kind of imply that there's individual little boughs. It does pop up. All right. Individual little boughs. Let's do that. Individual little boughs. Thinking about them. And then little bits of needles here and there. I'm going to bring a little bow down here. So you're enjoying the new studio location? I do. I like it here. I'm ready to put up, like, I'm ready to get the oil lamp, the rain lamp going again and hang some art on the walls and kind of build a little studio stage again. Yeah. Um, kind of go back, back old school, I think, for a little bit. I think it's nice every once in a while to revisit your roots. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm way behind on a Are chat. You? Oh, yeah, I was like an hour behind. <laughs> <laughs> so anything I said was not relevant to what is happening right now. Uh, Linda Harvey says, some days I can't concentrate, so I get backgrounds ready for later with grids or tracing on. I have quite a few of those laying around. That's productive, though. You know, we don't always feel like it, right? We don't. That is not uncommon. I'm going to put a little more green out. I could do. Like you do. Like I do. Like you do. Like somebody do. You know, it's hard to hear you when you talk with a brush in your mouth. It is hard to hear me when I talk with a brush in my mouth. I've got a brush in my mouth. Standing on my feet. I got a brush in my mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, thank you, Ashley. I love to see the emojis. Everybody's really enjoying the old school setup. Hmm. They missed it. They missed it. I can't believe it. I didn't realize it had been that long. You know what? COVID time is like being in a pocket dimension. Time does not flow as expected. I know. It just goes like at a different rate. And I'm not even having to do one of the situations like, can you imagine, like, to everyone who's, you know, in the hospital right now, I'm so sorry. It cannot be fun. We just, we just enjoy what we're doing here. We do it live. There are no edits. There are no tricks. There is only teaching. 
We have tricks. It's well, it's hard angles. work. My tricks are hard work, not as much uh, editing magic with a background and piano. It's edit. It's it's work. Oh, but look, we could we could do fady cross zooms. Look at that. Oh, oh no, nice no. and soft. Oh, I mean that stuff's fine. Feel free. See, we can make it look like it's all. We could do, we could do that a trick. And you can see how very quickly what we're doing is we are filling out our wreath. Painting it in. Paint it in. Let it be. Let it be. It's a little watery there, so just come back with some green and fix it. Make it a little watery. I don't panic. I make little needles. Little needles. Needles in the sun. That is what we are. I'm really proud, just personally, of the title of this painting. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I haven't done that in a minute where I title title something. And I love that we kind of called it Santa Slay. Yeah. This is a play on things. It is. But usually it's like red truck with wreath and headlights. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, because I've already done a red truck with wreath and headlights. A couple times. Yeah. This one is special. It is special. I think the last one was teal. The teal truck. Uh, I have a red Christmas truck with a tree in the back. Oh, what was the one that you just? That did? was like a one hoot one. Yeah, like I thought an that... hour long lesson, small canvas, in and out, in and out. All right, guess what we do next? What's that? Another layer of this. Another layer. Yeah, but with yellow and white. So just like the other one, but different. Yeah, just like the other one, but different. That's why we do those mixes all ahead of time, right? Now let's pick it up. Just making this very full and lots of color and multidimensional. Lots of color, multi-dimensional. As it is, we're putting little bulbs and all kinds of things. So that's the other reason, you know, the focus of this is like the little ornaments and the lights that are glowing and, you know, these little bits of elements in the car. So don't, like, you can see I'm just flicking, 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 flicking. And if I get too much going, I just come back with some green and go, no, 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 no. So we watched the uh, Star Wars Christmas special on Disney Plus, the one where they uh, remade Life Day. For those of you who remember the original, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a trip. And that John is very hard on everything. He's been super hard on the Mandalorian, and uh, he's not as impressed with Baby Yoda as say I am. And I understand it's not Baby Yoda. It is just a Yoda-style baby. But honestly, so much better than Yaddle, who was the worst sculpt in, in industrial light and magic, like, history. Just, I don't know what happened on that sculpt, but it did not go right. It didn't. Supposedly, that is the baby's mother. I don't know. I've heard some, some theories on it. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. We did, we did, we did. Now we have to do some highlights. Some highlights. I'm going to put out some fresh white so I'm not fighting, and I will get some clean water because I don't want anything to mess with my uh, color. Uh, Shannon Norton says, I did a little chart in my medieval book of all the colors I have with my fingers, so uh, I would have it when I go to the store because the store is is like a whole day trip, Heather. You know what I'm talking about. Heather apparently does. Mm -hmm. Heather knows what she's talking about. Heather knows. All right, let's get in here. Let's hit some headlights. Hey, let's hit some highlights, not headlights. Highlights. Highlights some stuff. So clean brush, making sure all the pigments out of my brush from what I've been doing. And some of this is going to be chill because we will have snow over it, but we still got to put in the highlights. So you know you've got a little highlight kind of right here. And 
I'd like to also kind of get one going in the little headlamps here along some of the chrome along the top. And maybe a little bit right here, just to help that pop out and on the top. And some of it we lose just because we're adding snow. We need to know they're here. Oh, went right into my black. So I will just paint that back out. And let's come through and make sure that we've got nice highlights going on top of our little ridges here. A little bit on the left here. And just coming through and highlighting. You're getting all focused. Well, sometimes when you're talking, it unsteadies your hand. Oh. Well, you like when you're taking you were, a picture. You didn't tell me you were steadying yourself. You just got quiet. That's what I'm doing. Sometimes when I'm getting quiet, what I am is just making sure that things are steady. I won't. I won't interrupt your steadying then. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> That's just all it is. I will go back through where I lost my steady and just paint back in whatever I lost. But then you can't talk during the part where you're fixing your steady because then by fault, by fact of talking when you're supposed to be steadying, you're not steadying your talk. Mm-hmm. But then your job is to talk, not mine. I'm yeah, supposed to Yeah, you are stun hands. Your job is also talk. Hands. Hands. I'm not stunt mouth. Maybe I should be. Should be something. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. We are good. Don't write in. Just anywhere you think you could use it. And then uh, wherever I've got to come back through, <laughs> so hmm. Simon would like to know: Have you ever had a pink? Have you ever had a pink that? No. Have you ever had a painting that didn't turn out the way you planned, but you were alive, so you had to finish it anyway? Do you think this is one of those? <laughs> no, but have you? Of course. It's like the first truck I ever painted. All the time. I can't, I can't worry about those little things. I have to put those things to the side. 
and worry about the lesson. Making a good lesson. You know, everything else has to fall back and oh. take a back seat. The left headlight's missing its black trim ring. Yep. Thank you. Hmm. It's turning out good. Just refining. Anything that you want to fix, adjust, or go through. This is that moment when you can start doing that. These little end bits where you start thinking about where things are and where you really want them to be. Oh my goodness, we did okay. I'm going to put in a little bit of, I'm going to take my number four and I'm going to add maybe a little bit of just pure blue for some deep excitement shadows that I could have. Yeah. Can I see that there? There we go. Kind of have that going on. Layers, said Jessica Layers. Martinez. Layers, layers, layers. Uh, Arizona, whatever, what all made you choose to move away, away from Texas and Ginger? I'll take a rest because we're going on to step six after this. Step six. Ooh. Step six where we add the snow. I'll show you a cool trick about the snow. Well, you know what's interesting? Mm. What's this, interesting? This setup's been pretty nice. It's turning out pretty good here. Is everyone happy? Thumbs I up. So. If you like this setup and you'd like to see it next weekend, thumb it up. Yeah. Thumb it up <laughs> if you like it. Um, I Well, here's one. Even when I lived in Texas, I did not see my mom because she was uh, about 30 minutes from me. Uh, and so she just doesn't. It's hard for me to load every kid in the car, and she didn't really have a lot of free time to come over. So uh, in a weird way, I'm seeing her more now because we Skype all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to And then also COVID would happen, so I wouldn't even see her this whole, whole time because we would never, ever... Uh, risk that and then um we always wanted to live in a commonwealth what pennsylvania is a commonwealth i i think what it was is we just found our forever forever home and it happened to be in pennsylvania and that has worked out really well <laughs> 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 we're okay with that well, and what i will say is that texas um is like mordor and pennsylvania is like the shire with rednecks it's like it's like if you took all, it's basically all the same people in Texas, but they live in a state where you get snow and it's nice weather. So, yeah. Yeah. But it's, but it's pretty much the same, like Texas and, and Pennsylvania, I think like they, they both have philosophically the same concept of, you know, like Americana. It's, yeah, it's, like there's guns going off all the time. It really feels like home. <laughs> because that's what makes us American. There's there's muscle cars. No, car. that's what makes it like Texas is people are out hunting we and you can hear the rifles guys. and they're yeah. testing. And there's muscle cars across the street. Yeah, there's it's just, it, people are doing their thing. So it's very similar. Very I've, strong I really group. like it. Yeah, lots, like of, it. lots of good stuff out here. Very community oriented. Yeah, very community oriented. So it's very cool. I like it. I like where we are. I like this now. So far, ask me deeper in winter. If I'm in here shivering, painting, going. <gasps> well, you'll hear calcifer. You going can't have calcifer on when we're going live because calcifer is so loud. Calcifer is what we named our fireplace because that's how not fireplace we were. That we thought our fireplace needed a name. You probably didn't name yours, mm -hmm. but we named ours because we were so excited to have Curious. one. Because you don't need one on the surface of the side. It's no. decorative. You put crystals or flowers in your fireplace and you used <laughs> You don't sit on fire. All right. Are you guys ready to do step six? Should we put up six? 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 I can't even show them six. the calcifer because it's so dark. I oh. spun over and looked to see, and all you can see is is darkness in the corner. Yeah. So, oh well. We'll eventually get it where you can have meandering tours of the space. That's true. Uh, but six. You, oh, you want this? Six. 
And Step six. This. Excellent. So the snow is pretty easy to put on. Um, I'm going to don't do this at home. I'm going to do this for me uh, just because I need. Uh, well, I, nah, I think it might. I think I'll be okay. I'll go there. So I have what is it's a sea spongy. Sea spongy, sea Hold spongy. On. Hold on. I got sea sponges. Ah, I keep grabbing the wrong thing. There you go. Sea sponge. Sea spongy. I see the sponge. Okay. So I call them the little Sherpa nuggets. <laughs> um, you could just use a house sponge or, you know, whichever, you know, speaks to you. It's okay. So you can kind of see this here on layer six. We're like snow and shadow under the snow. So the snow kind of goes like this. First, get your sponge damp. I'm going to get my sponge damp in okay. clean water, and I'm going to wring it out. And I mean wring it out because you don't need a wet sponge. You need a damp sponge. Otherwise, it don't work. And then we're going to load it up with some white paint. And you can get a smidge of the ultramarine blue into that white is okay. I pinch it into a little round shape that I can control. I'm going to tap So it's it's definitely hard on your manicure mm -hmm. if you were getting one now anymore. I don't know when I've had a manicure, so please forgive my nails. I'm going to just put some snow on top of the car there. Sometimes it's nice to have two colors of snow, but not yellow snow, as you know. We don't endorse the yellow snow. Well, we just warn you to, you know, Keep your distance from that yellow snow because it's uh pinched. Where I need more control, I pinch it more. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. So where where I need to be able to turn or do anything interesting, I just pinch it. All right come over here, no snow. If, you know, I paint out anything I need to put back, it's pretty easy to put back. So, like, if I want to put those little green things back, if I need to, my little pine bells, I can. Snow, snow, snow. Is that sea foam? Is it sea foam? Is that the question? That was the question. Is that sea foam? No. How, why would it be sea foam? I don't understand. Oh, maybe sea foam green? Maybe that was the question? No. <laughs> oh, oh, sea sponge is probably what That's a sea sponge. <laughs> sea sponge is probably what, it was probably an autocorrect thing that was asked. Yeah, are you using a sea sponge? I am using a little sea sponge. I get these little craft nuggets on uh, Amazon for the cheap. Tapping a little bit of snow down here. I turn my hand if I need to soften edges or patterns or anything. A little snow, snow. Snow, 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 snow. Snow, 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 snow. The snow over here. Wait, wait. Oh, you're yeah. just backing up and looking at the snow. And the snow over here. I think I'm going to come over here and snow. And snow up here. Snow, 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 snow. No. No. Oh. See, I knew I was going to take out a high highlight. I'm going to take out that highlight for some snow. No, no, no. Then I'm going to rinse out a little bit, and I'm going to do just pure white as a highlight. We need more white for the highlight. I'll do pure white as a highlight. Then we finish, interestingly enough, with a number four round, and then we put in the shadow. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a journey. And then we'll touch up any of the things that we feel like we should keep that we lost. So this pure white now. And you'll see just that little difference. It does make a difference. Those two values will show up against each other. Oh, yeah. That does help. Put a little bit of... Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to just tap around for that. Erlinda's like, you could always add glitter. Erlinda! Glitter what? for that extra layer. You could add glitter pretty easily. I think I'll snow up the corner there because I got artful there with my snow. So I'll put that sponge in water and wipe off my hand. I'm going to get my number four round, or you could do your cast on either is fine. 
And I'm going to come here with my brush loaded with some white. And what I do... Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm going to just... Heavy snow. I'll just add some little definitions of it. And the way we do sometimes in clouds. I don't do everything. Right? But I just want to show that the snow has shape. Snow has shape. It does have shape. And then when I come back, right, I will um, put a shadow under the snow, and then the snow will pop. Ooh. Snow, snow, snow. Don't forget to download your free booklet. Oh, yeah, you're going to need that booklet. The it's Butcher's Wife. I love these longer tutorials. Yeah, I bigger canvas, longer too. tutorial. It's been nice having the tutorials here. Everyone hanging out. There you go. Me missing my camera movement. <laughs> it's like good times. <laughs> Old times. You can just kind of see how we create a little bit of that personality in the snow. You can even come up here if you want and... Just make your bank a little bankier if you need a bankier bank. And I'll put in some uh, shadows if I feel like I lost it or put in, put back pine boughs that maybe I need to, you know, refine again. It is all okay. Christine said thank you for doing the custom emojis for chat. They're oh, are you, are you liking them? Yeah. Thank you. Donna's got some. I see Donna has her crayon box. Donna's got her crayons. So if you uh, do the channel membership for the emojis, votes and stuff like that will happen in the community tab. You guys, I guess, have like a, a little uh, interesting private community tab mm -hmm. that only you can see, apparently, according to YouTube. But I think you can see it if you have YouTube read. <laughs> One of the other YouTube paid services, I think those, because I can see everybody's, and that's all I have. I certainly haven't joined everybody's thing. Mm. So. All right. Now, when we have that, when we have all that kind of thought out, come through. I'm going to load up with some just blue. Just blue. So how many hoots do you think this one is? This is two. It's just big. Just a big two hoot? Just a big two hoot. Cool. You can see we're just adding those little shadows under the snow. Just to make sure that there's contrast. Oops, I did not want white. One little shadow is left. Just go along underneath that. Like a little glaze because the blue is almost transparent. Maybe add a 
Those little, those blue contrast lights. They help a little bit. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They don't suck. I don't mind. Just creating little bits of moments of goodness. And then when I have that in, I can always come back with my green. Yeah. A little yellow and a little green. Where are you going with the green? Let's start here. Just make sure that we, you know, don't lose what we had. Anywhere that we lost a little bit, we need to layer back over. We just do. Just add them some in there. Yeah, just put them back wherever they were. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, just kind yeah. of over the wherever top they of the get stuff. lost, you just come in and you just put them back and make those adjustments. Is snow? You snowed it. I snowed it, and we gotta blow it. All right, we'll do that in a there we go. So yeah, just make sure you thoroughly dry between the different layers. We're gonna go on to the next scene, the next layer scene here in just a minute. I'll try to block out some of that crazy noise. But thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us. You know, couldn't do this kind of wonderful stuff without you guys. Um, we just really appreciate you being part of our family, being here with us, hanging out when we're doing our painting lessons like today. The old Christmas truck, Santa sleigh. It's been fun. This is good. Although the only thing we could do to improve today, I think, would be to add coffee to cinnamon. I need a coffee. I know you do. Let's do a break. How can we do a break? Uh, P P video. You would like me <laughs> P video. to P video. Let's all have a restroom break and get some coffee because it's been a long painting session. Okay. So to do that, you gotta like cue me in that you want to do these things. I'm just blowing bubbles. You're just blowing. You know bubbles. what I love about these new bubbles? No. B besides the fact that the towel thing is As working really well, <laughs> um, is it's not getting all over the art. Well, that's why I directionalized them. That <laughs> Our way. first studio, I had all this art hung on the walls, and then we would blow bubbles, and then the art was getting all damaged with bubbles. So crazy. All right. All right. So you guys, so, we have about a little bit left. We only have a couple steps left. So it's a good time to get up, stretch, take a breath, take care of your body, take care of whatever it needs right now. Is it thirsty? Does it need a hug? What do you need right now? If you need a hug, but your social distancing, here's like one of those like gift hugs, you know. Mm. But do some self-care and I'll meet you back because I need some coffee. All right, hold on a second. and blue bay hand in hand slept there for days light wind and gray haze I to eye we parted ways meet me under Stepped hard shells, shallow as sparks in deep swells. Help me catch my breath, forgetting higher, imagining your face. You're my
and blue bay Hand in hand Slept there for days Light wind and green haze I to I We parted ways Meet me Under How you guys doing? <laughs> Everybody have a good break? We breaked. It's a good time. Good time. All right. So we're going to continue on. I do think I will at this point put out fresh palette because you guys need to see a clean space. Yeah. It's a nice time for me to do that. But you don't need to do that. You can save your uh, paint if you need to with a palette, a wet palette. Put this somewhere where I can dispose of it later. <sighs> Donna Clemens says, dang, I hate autocorrect. And uh, uh, there we go. I will put out my colors again. So we're going to be going on to our step seven, which is going to be kind of awesome. Uh-oh. No, I didn't catch this, but step seven and step eight are the same step. So it just needs to be corrected later. I'll get it fixed. Oh, no. I didn't catch it in the review. That's okay. <sighs> we can. What's, what's really neat about a digital process is that you can just go update. And so that everyone can the just The step-by-step step that I built in the uh, web page is absolutely locked in correct because that was all me. Oh, all right. And I just didn't catch it. It happens. We'll fix that. All right. I'm going to put out a uh, CAD red, ultramarine blue, put out a little Mars black. I'm going to put out some CAD yellow again. Where's the CAD yellow? I don't know where it went. I see no CAD yellow. And I will read my words since what the pictures words? are off. Okay, orange bulb, yellow bulb, red ornament, underpainting. Yep. All right, so on this one, we're actually doing the underpainting of the ornaments, and we are doing the base of the bulbs. So Cheryl Sussman would like to know, what is that book? Okay, well, let me get it fixed, but this is the free. Thank goodness it's free. <laughs> <laughs> it felt terrible. Well, it's well we got to do this free. a couple times. Uh, a mini booklet. So it is about 11 pages and it covers all the steps, the color mixes. 
it lets you know what tools I'm using at each step. And Cheryl, you know, I thought about you when I did this and mm -hmm. all of our community who, who really appreciates those extra bits of information. Um, and it just goes through and lets you know colors and things so that you, when I'm painting along and you're painting along or you're watching me in the video and I'm going to match it to where I chapter this live video. So when you come back, the steps match the PDF, which matches the video, which matches the timestamp chapters. So yeah. for you as a student, what does that mean? That means this lesson is much easier, helps you get the techniques and helps you get everything uh, better. So, and also I think that people learn a variety of ways. Like some people learn better when they're reading and some people learn uh, better when they're viewing and some people learn better when they're hearing. Mm -hmm. So that way we have audio, visual, and kind of like a uh, more kinesthetic kind of tactile event is gotcha. the thinking I was thinking. I'm gonna put out white. That's the other color I think I'll put out right now. Right, and that's the other thing, because it'll let you know, like, if you look in here, it'll let you know your colors, right? So that's a very nice thing. Mm. Now, to do this, I am going to put out my bulbs first, and I'm not going to use my coffee as a water cup, because that would make me so sad. So sad. So sad. We'll say this is clean. Clean enough. And yeah. I'm going to put in my bulbs. Now, here's the trick on some of the bulbs. I'm going to go ahead and do the red and a little bit of blue. Right? And even maybe a scotch of black. And we covered those color mixes. And we're going to do a half bulb here. Now, on this side, I will curve back because I'll have to blend uh, some of the pine boughs back over this is how we bury that. And so I like to give myself some room. So that's all that one is, is a little half circle, right? And come here at the top maybe and paint a whole circle. Just your first layer of bulb. Mm. Just the first layer of bulb. Let's put one uh, here. Again, a little half circle. Little peaking bulb. Peaking bulbs are the best bulbs. Yeah. And just painting a little circle, right? With a little of your blue and red. You just want to make them as round as you can. A lot of what will make them round is their reflections and other elements of them, other visual cues. So this is just one layer. All right. Somebody's suggesting that we do a truck with a turkey on the front. Okay. Now, um... Let's give you guys the, because uh, we're going to be wrapping up this painting pretty quick. So if anybody hasn't entered the giveaway, mm. uh, let's drop the link and give everybody like a five-minute warning to get entered. Ooh, that's good. Come right here. Put in that bulb. He's good. Everyone who's downloaded the book just loves it. Oh, I so appreciate that, guys. And I will make sure that those two steps are separated up. But the write-up on them is correct. Now, I would, could I ask a question for like a raise of hands in the audience? Yeah. So if we were able to, you know, to offer a printed version of this on the website uh, with, you know, like some, you know, worksheet material and some resources like that, would that be of interest for a low cost uh reference material that you could purchase and down or purchase and have mailed to you and it'd be printed on real paper with some project paper and stuff like that when john says project paper he means paper you can paint with like, acrylic on yeah like it's a we like have, the traceable would be on it <laughs> right we would pre-print the traceable on there we've got some really really nice paper that accepts both acrylic paint 
and watercolor and mixed media. It's like it's, really good multimedia paint it, and, paper. In fact, if you're looking for a really good multimedia paper, it's Fabriano White. It's actually their white, white. <laughs> it's the ultra white uh, paper that they sell. But it's and, still 140 pounds. Yeah. Well, they make, they make a particular, uh, it's a hot pressed version of it instead of cold pressed, but it, it holds the um, water much better, especially when using like a lot of it. It's got great water control. So anyway. So there we go. We have the first layer of the bulbs in. Rinse your brush out thoroughly. Rinse uh, Deb J says, yeah. And Rhonda says, yeah. Oh, good. And Lily says, yeah. And then Linda's, where's the giveaway link? So guys, drop the giveaway link. Be the sure links. that they got the giveaway link. Okay, so are we are we done with that step? Nope. No. Oh, I you're right. Just Let me see. Looking. I can. I'm pull using it up. your camera as a. So I can't step back because if I do, I'll die. Well, not <laughs> just behind I'm not you. coordinated. You can't step forward. We you all can't step back. How many cups of water did I spill this morning? That was m largely my fault because I had stuff all over the studio. That was in no way his fault. That was all my clutziness this morning. It really was. He's being a gentleman. It was wholly me. So when I'm like that, I don't know about you, but like I have days where I'm just like, they're clumsy days. Okay. And so on clumsy days, I avoid things like stepping over complicated shapes and cords. I'm going to answer Ashley's questions real quick. <laughs> um, the We're going to continue to provide free materials always. That's what we want like to do. Like the booklet right now is free for you yeah, to download. Free. The What we're going to do is in the future provide a high quality printed version of that and the cost would be low i'm trying to keep it like 10 10 dollars 15 dollars shipped for a pay you know with like a really good packed value of a booklet with um content and you know from cinnamon's upcoming lesson these reference pages these study stuff um we're working it out so and and you'll hear more about it so it'll ahead. be really good yeah. it'll be good so to do the bulbs, we've got two color ranges. We're going to take a little of our red, a scotch, a smidge, a small amount of our uh, red over to the yellow. We're making an orange that is a li uh, little more yellow than red. You can see that here. This is that range. Mm -hmm. Then in the center of the bulb, and this will also be in the reflections. In the center of the bulb, we're going to take a yellow with just a smidge of white that just helps improve the opacity of the yellow so it still reads as yellow but it has a smidge of white in it and then we do white over the top oh, of that I think oh I, pamela is that the is pamela that, brown has just joined okay. our chat for emojis we she okay, gets so a we, crayon box may you all have crayons may the old be ever in your favor i didn't understand this i saw other folks joining early today and that ch that's joined up there. I didn't understand that was a new member pop up. So thanks. He doesn't Sorry, even guys. know. So what happened was I was on Brave Wilderness. It's an awesome YouTube channel. If you have kids and they like nature, I really like Coyote Peterson. Um, he's awesome. I actually found him weirdly without my kids. It was just a whole weird deal with 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 a whole thing with a velvet ant. So <laughs> backstory, my mom can tell later. Um, so I found him and I let I really like it. I've watched for years and so like I was at a live. And I wanted to chat, but you had to be a member to chat. And I was like, I don't know if I really want to be a member. And then I saw these really great emojis and it was like, I could join and I would get the emojis and it was cheap. And I said to myself, that's super worth it to just be able to throw down fandom. And then I thought, maybe I'm not the only one who would dig this and I'll offer it over on my YouTube channel, but only if it's super cheap. <laughs> and that's all we're doing is custom emojis. Because we have a patronage on the website where we do like big involved stuff. Like if you ever want to paint with me, like we do that there. And um, so I did that and it's been super fun. But they wanted to make me do a promotional video that like, was dedicated to it. And I didn't want to do that because it's just emojis. So I figured out how to trick the system. And then I, I put them up, but I, John didn't know really all the things around. He I doesn't don't know even know works. that we have a cup of coffee with a sloth in it or the duct tape banana, okay. or we actually have a troll for when there's trolls. I'm working on the band hammer. You guys will get that soon. I am still figuring out how friends work on Facebook. Yeah, he really is. Don't it, it just, <laughs> he really is. I'm going to take my red into my yellow and make a nice amount of that kind of bright orange for the bulb. Membership does not improve your chances to win anything. Nope. 
it or anything. It's just you get some emo Do you want you, goofy yeah. emojis? You have them and you can have a crayon box. It's all it is. It's all it is. It's just fun chattiness, hanging out, and it helps support the channel. I'm going to come here on the corner of my brush. That's not enough paint on it is what that is. There's too much water on my brush and not enough paint, and that's why it's kind of like that right there. Hmm. So that's what I had to fix. There we go. And I may even pull some of the water out of my brush and pull that back. Because that is, that'll happen. So when you have too much water on there, it won't make the nice mark for you that you like. So it's a downward pull, and I'm just making these little bulb shapes. Bulbs! Lots of folks are saying thank you for the book. They really appreciate it. Oh, I, you guys are so welcome. I'm sorry. Like, I must, like I'll fix that step and just read that. Guys, again, it's free. It's free. <laughs> this is <what>, Free! <laughs> free means you can't yell at me. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> free means you can't be mad at me if I have a spell in your room. No, no one's upset. They, they understand. And Pam just joined. Thank you, Pam. See, now I know. See, some people are like me, and they're like, oh, emojis. So, guys, like, later today, I'm putting up uh, Luna Bella's emoji designs because that's the next vote you guys are going to do because Luna Bella, my youngest, designed you guys some emojis, and so mm -hmm. I'll let you vote on which one you want. <laughs> and theoretically, the teenager is maybe will deign to make us a custom emoji. I don't know. I'm going to get less water this time. <laughs> it's an iffy thing with her. You know, teens. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just putting little bulbs places. I just want lots of bulbs. I think it's a good idea to like make the bulbs face many directions. And again, we outline, we do an outline on the bulbs in the last step when we do the snow that helps them be more bulbalicious. More bulbalicious. Got to do one right here where we change directions. Mm -hmm. Very important bulb. Orange, 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 orange. Want it to be yellow, want it to be orange. And this is another thing where you can fill out like anything where you like, well, that looks like a little empty space. That'll let you do that. Now I got to dry this a little bit so I can put the center in. Okay. There we go. Drying, 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 drying. She'll do that. And drying stuff in a moment. And that's so we can get those important layers between there. But I think... This is getting close to the end of that step. Oh, do we have another new member? Let me go scroll through there and see. I just saw this. We saw... That was Pam who joined. And... Lulabelle. Lulabelle. Huh. Hi, Lulabelle. I hope I pronounced your name right. So thank you guys for joining us. I'm sure we had more other people who joined earlier. But sorry that I was not on top of understanding what all of those little symbol images <laughs> meant. I'm oh, Lula oh, Bell! Lady Fair just and Lady joined Fair! Too. Woo! We have so many people Bulbs joining. Bulbs meaning lights, says Arizona. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, is lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm weird. I said bulbs. Because okay. I like to make autocorrect and the voice recognition say weird and strange things in live chat. Because <laughs> it thinks I say crazy things. It really does. Sip the coffee. All right. Blow the bubbles. It's time blow to sip the coffee and blow your bubbles. If you have your bubbles at home, Okay, so here's the game from now on that we're playing. Get, if you can get some bubbles online, whenever I blow bubbles, you blow bubbles. So what, is, so what is the thing we're doing here? We're giving something away. What are we giving away? We're giving away a signed mouse pad of today's Ooh. painting. A signed mouse pad. Be festive at your computer. Very neat. Okay, so I know who won it. Do you know who won it? Let's announce it. Should we announce it? Yeah, I need a minute, and the yellow needs to kind of dry. I mean, the okay. orange needs to dry. All right. So our winner for winner! today is Judy Beersley. <gasps> Judy Beersley? 
that's what it says. Jody Beersley. That's kind of awesome. I guess you know Judy. I know a lot of my. I, I know, know you a lot of like. People. Hi, Judy. I know a lot of my community. <laughs> I stalk y'all online. I know who you are. I know what you're into. It's weird. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> Congratulations. Judy. So I've got to see is Judy here. And J. Deb just joined our membership club. So hi. Thank you. J. Deb. But right now, I'm waiting. Judy, where are you, Judy? I'm going to give y'all all the emojis. Judy. We're going to have so much emoji fun. Where but are you? You've been so great. You get the ban hammer all right, today. So you do. You do you Not do. that we're banning you like you get a, a hammer oh. ban. I'm going to take my yellow. Not right. too much uh, water. And I'm going to load it on my brush. I'm going to come in the center. Oh, yeah. Make a little ho kind of hot spot. Yeah. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to work this hard for you. Now remember, this mix of yellow had a little white in it. Mm -hmm. And if you need to see those mixes again, we do them at the beginning of the steps. Somebody's got to go message Judy and say, hey, go get on. Oh, she's going to be so excited. But this one, we didn't make them be here. Oh, we didn't? No. Oh, that's different. Well, you know, usually we will, but I wanted to give people who were in a different weird time zone a chance. Oh, I see. Because we may Just trying may to be nice. Well, you know what? We've got plenty of uh, mouse pads. Mouse pads. They were luckily that probably was the, could have done a few. When I given away a few. When I did the the mouse pads, I had to <sighs> figure out how to do them. So there was there's there's this period where everyone was looking at like, okay, got enough mouse pads, and then we were thinking, well, what can you do with extra mouse pads? Can you quilt them? Can you turn them into insulation? Can you? What can you do with them? So. That kind of tells you how many extra mouse pads. It took a lot of learning to get them <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> okay, are we at another step? We are at step eight. Are we? Really? Yes. Step eight. So now we're going to add halos to the ball. Uh, the lights. <laughs> Not the bulbs. The lights. The and uh, we're going to finish up the ornaments. Hmm. Our step in the video was correct. Like the last step in the video was correct. Just the step in my booklet wasn't correct. That's what you're looking for. That. And that. You can trust the video. <laughs> it has both those steps. Never trust my spelling. I always like when my kids are like, mom, how do you spell whatever it is? I just like, and honey now knows like my eldest knows now, like don't come to mom, you can come to mom for English questions, not like grammatical spelling questions, but like lit questions. And you can come to me for some history stuff <laughs> and you can come to me for some creative stuff. Science, maybe a little earth-based science, but the kids like, they still believe that maybe math and spelling is a skill set that I should have. <laughs> don't believe it. So step eight will be great. Mm-hmm. Okay, these are, uh, I'm going to let them continue to dry, and we're going to add some defining highlights to our bulbs. So let's load up some red, some bright red, right into our number eight cat's tongue. And let's come here. All right. We're just pulling this in. And we're just adding a little bit of that red, that pure red. Pure red? Some pure cad red. Or maybe you're using naphthol red. That's fine too. I don't mind. I won't be angry at you. Don't worry. I 
And sometimes I'll come back at this stage also and kind of do a second coat of the shadow red. Shadow red. Just it's just a nice touch to make the piece feel uh, better and more finished. You don't have to do it. It's just a good idea. I'm like, you don't have to do it, but you know, you have to. <laughs> uh, it's so clear. Well, there's a little rogue bubble in front of your. You see it? No, where'd it go? Right in front, right over there. Uh, it's to your left, to your left, right there. <gasps> Hi, how are you? Go enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That moment when like bubbles are, I'm a little like Olaf. <laughs> I think Olaf is my spirit guide. Mm. From Frozen, if that doesn't have context for you, because it might not. Maybe you don't have kids. Maybe you haven't been tortured by Frozen for years and years. I do like the movies though, very, very much. So let's let those sit there. All right, we've got to let those sit there. And have a bit of a of a rest. And so while they're having a rest, let's rinse out our other little brush. Now you're you're almost on to step nine. Yeah, we're almost done. We are literally almost done. Now is it step nine? Is the final step? Yeah. Of highlightiness. It's splatter, and maybe we outline the bulbs, but we could probably outline them now. <gasps> but that would misstep the steps i know i might go rogue i've already oh, like misspelled no. something <laughs> i'm just adding a little bit of that white in the center this is the hot spot of the bulb doesn't take a big amount you just want to do a little bit now you're going to want to dry everything so we can put a, a shadow line and a highlight on these bulbs all right. Not bulbs. Yeah, ornaments. Ornaments. All right. So we're going to have to put a little contrast shadow line. Make them pop off the there to make them look all, you know, Sherpa-y as she does. That's pretty cool. I'm digging it. She's making sure she get all those layers dry so that, especially around the edge there where the paint is nice and thick, you have to make sure that it's dry so that when you when you drag your paint your brush through it it doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't grab the wet paint and sort of you know drag it off so keep an eye out for that and thoroughly dry your surface thank you for joining us we love seeing you guys you know all that get some black And then we're going to add just a little bit of a black line around the ball. Ornament. Ornament. A little bit of a shadow. Come and put one like maybe perhaps here. Yeah. You know, and this in contrast with the highlight really makes a difference. It gonna. So I guess this time wrong. I thought an hour and a half. Hmm, you did. I guess super wrong. It's been Two a minute hours since. and 30 minutes. Yeah, I forgot big canvas. Big surface. No, we're not using big trick brushes, so we're in it. I'm going to come back and kind of clean that up. I took that up a little further than I wanted it, so I just take a clean brush and remove it. I can also come back with some red. Now, if you don't have... Some folks were just asking, how, how do I join to have the uh, emoji set? So the first thing is you have to be in a country or in a place that it, allows us well, to do that. Well, and actually the restrictions we found, I looked it up. I looked up all the restrictions. Um, it was more about the device you're on. Oh, so there's no join button on iPad or iPhone? Yeah, I think that there's a, there's a lack of join button on certain devices. I think that may be because like Apple doesn't allow you to join things inside their app network 
unless you pay them a fee. And of course, Google doesn't want that because they have their own system. So in order to not pay the fee of the one-click purchase, you have to go through a non-native portal, mm -hmm. meaning the website. Yeah. Now, I put out some green and brown. That's because I want to tuck some of these bulbs into, you know, uh, some greenery. Boy, I knew a lot about that. that you I didn't you did know a shocking amount about that. You did. So this is uh, phthalo green and burnt sienna. But before I put that in, I want to load up some white on my brush. I'm going to come and make a stroke and a little dash. And these are going to be some little highlights. On the bulbs, on the ornaments. On the ornaments. On the ornaments. Get a nice one there. When are when you going to show them step nine? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We got to right. tuck in bulbs. We have to make halos. Sweetie. All right. I'm going to let you do things. Halos. Halo it up. Halo it up. We don't, we don't do anything to the splatter. Okay. So I'm going to take a little of my phthalo green and burn sienna. Maybe a little of the yellow. Some white for coverage. And I'm going to come here and make sure that some of my pine bow goes over that. Ornament, look at that. And the other thing you can do is you can kind of come in and finish off the back of these little bulbs. Hmm. Isn't that cool? It is. Uh, it's nice to always kind of tuck and fold in your pine needles some of the stuff that's going on. Just keep it fun and playful. Don't be too serious with it. Some of them are on top, right? And some of them are tucked into the branches. And wouldn't they always be? I think that's one of the things that makes this nice is we just took the time to do those little touches. We could have rushed through. But we did the little touches. Sometimes it's the little touches that make a big, big difference in Hi. how we feel. Welcome, Kitty, to our emoji family. We get a new did we get a new emoji person? Yes, we did. Kitty Aww. joined. Thank you, Kitty. And emoji up. Just emojis. <laughs> All right, so when you have that going, right? Oh, I remember why I did the outlining is because it's fluid paint. That's mm. why I did it at the end. I remember now. You remember now? I remember now. Now, but now we have to Halo. All right. Halo. That's a great game. It is. Red versus blue. That's a cartoon based on machinima. I know. And Halo. Using Halo, yeah. So, uh, I love the warthog. Anyways, um, I'm going to make my orange else. again. Who doesn't know? And it's going to be mostly yellow. I want it to be mostly yellow. We're going to come around here. Make little glows. I keep missing you getting yellow. Whoop. Little curvy glows. Number four round. And they all get them. Yeah. I'm so mean to John. I know it when I'm doing it because I can I can hear him like kind of kind of struggling back there with the foot pedal. And then I'm like, dude.
but we're just glowing all the bulbs. Glows are this kind of yellow, orangish ring, and then they're followed by a white ring. Hmm. We're getting there. And that's what kind of makes it like that's, I think that's what gets the festive going. Yeah. I'm so behind on chat again. How do you do so that? behind on chat. How do you get behind on chat? So uh, there, someone was asking what type of paint it is. I'm using Sennelier acrylic. I have a blog on my website and a file in my group, and it tells you every acrylic paint company I have ever found, every maker, mm -hmm. and I mean for countries, and it gives their websites if they have one, so you can figure out where to buy it if it's the paint that's in your area. And I haven't tried all of them. But the ones that I do recommend are in a recommended list on that list. I don't have any that I don't recommend because I'm not. I'm trying not to be shady like that. But if you ask, we will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful what you ask for. Just doing the little rounds, making it around, making it around. There we go. We're still going. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Mm. What do you guys think? You loving it? Oh, yeah. This is turning out really beautiful. I like the larger size and how it's turned out. There we go. We're doing so good. So glad everybody's here. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate it. I so appreciate that people hang in with us and, you know, stay for the lives and help us and bring your positive energy. I think that's what makes these live classes like so much fun. It's not just what I'm doing here, but the positivity that you guys bring makes a big difference, I feel. Oh, yeah. Which you guys contribute is huge in my mind. Now, the yellow's pretty good. We're okay, but we could kick it up a notch. John's gonna have a little trouble keeping up with me, but I'm gonna load up with some white. White, 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 white. I'm gonna go around and we're gonna make some bright little energetic lines. Not a lot of it's not a lot of paint. It's kind of a dry brush, light pressure. Go around and. Circular little strokes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone's loving the larger canvas. You can really see what's going on, right? Yeah. You can always paint it smaller. You can always do this in an 8x10. It's not required. That's you do it the size I'm doing it. 8x10 is a good size to scale down because it's, it's, a, you know, it's exactly half, which makes that nice. Uh, it also... Reproduce is easy. You can print the traceable, uh, traceable easier. Um, you know, a lot of times, if you guys have question on that, questions on that, in your printer settings, when you go to when you print, it will allow you to go into the advanced size and print as a size. So you can print as an eight by ten, a five by seven, you know, eleven by fourteen. If your paper will, if your machine will accept larger paper, so. You can output a traceable to a different size if you just go into your, when you hit print, click Properties or Advanced, and you'll see some options there. Guess what we just finished? What'd you do? We just finished step eight. You did? We did. Let's bubble it up. Bubble buttercup. it up. Bubble it up, buttercup. And now we have the final and most important step. Which is? Splatter. Step snow. Nine. We're gonna outlaw the little bulbs just to make them pop, but then we're gonna make it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah. Hi, I see you. Oh. I see him. It's right there. It's totally different. Usually I'm like, he's in a different place for me, but I can see him right there. It's kind of fun. Okay, so we talked about this at the beginning. What did we talk about? The fluid paint, which I put somewhere on this desk and now I don't see. You do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where'd I put it? Right there. There I it is. It. It's behind this. <laughs> I was like, I it's see it from here. It's just invisible to me. So you could use craft paint. 
You could use uh, some, you know, other fluid types of paint, but I really like the golden fluid titanium white because it's super pigmented and it does a great splatter. Yeah, but you could use like uh, Deco Americana titanium white and that would be okay as well. I'm going to take that detail brush I showed y'all at the beginning of the lesson. Mm -hmm. Right, gonna take that and we're gonna just outline, outline all of these. All right, hold on a second. And just outline them. Just a little bit. I find that this just kind of gives them that nice little bulby look. Oh, yeah. It's a bulba. You need your bulbs. Don't go till you see the spider. You want those tips. The snow tips are the best tips. Get the. Actually, that's not true. It's <laughs> just just splatter but we do have a video about splatter if you do have trouble doing splatter and it's you know maybe a little bit frustrating for you um i've got a there's video there's another bubble oh do we have another one where'd it go it's behind you ah oh, i love those little air and bubbles i love them there's yeah there's still a couple floating around there i like to just outline these a little bit you know kind of give them some shape like little christmas lights I whip through here real fast for the purpose of this right now. You take your time. For the purposes of lights. For the purposes of lights and live. Go through real fast and give them a line. Well, you're almost done here, aren't you? Yep. There you are. I knew it. I always miss one. <laughs> There's oh, always oh, to the one. Left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Under the headlight, the left. Under the headlight, to the left. There That's it right. is. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That was like a lot of tension for just you forgot to light a bulb. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can see all the bulbs. Oh, the bulb. All right. Right in front of you in the center and the bottom. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of them. It's visually overwhelming sometimes. That's why I'm just taking a look around here for you. I love it. He sees all the stuff. He's the detail dude. There you go. Now, You're it's okay what I'm about to do, and I'm pretty sure I won't hit the painting on the back wall. You won't? Oh, we'll okay. find out. So splatter, I do make a splatter tool. It's in the Art Trooper Galaxy set. I do recommend it. However, I recognize maybe you're in an area you don't have access to it. Maybe you don't want to buy another tool. You know, you're just, it's totally cool. Whatever the reason is, if you don't want the splatter tool, I'm totally fine with that. Um, I have a video about how to splatter, and it shows other methods besides this tool and gives you tips and tricks and all kinds of things that you might need to know about like how to correct and how not to mess up your painting at this stage. And if you're at all worried, you may want to watch it. If my mods can drop that in the chat yeah. right now, it'd be and super I, useful. I'm going to ask Jody, mm -hmm. just hang on. Cause she said, can you imagine how good this would look as a huge statement piece on a mantle with stocking and candles? Boy, do I have something to show you. Let Cinnamon finish up. And then okay, yes. Because remember, guys, you guys really requested the Heart Party song, and we didn't want to leave you guys hanging, uh, saying goodbye. So I've got my brush loaded. I've got my fluid paint. got my splatter tool. looks like a toothbrush. You never put it in your mouth. And I'm just going to flick it back and add Ooh. snow. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And John's so excited because the cameras aren't near the splatter. What I would say for splatter is you can't be far enough away. He says that, but it's fine. I wouldn't do it in my like on my beautiful granite countertop. <laughs> but if you do get it on anything that you don't want it on, and come closer there, you can just remove it with rubbing alcohol, which I know it seems like everyone is sold out of rubbing alcohol, but that is what you can remove it with. Hand sanitizer in a pinch. <laughs> so there is the snow. Oh, that snow looks pretty good. Valerie says, hello from Alabama. I'm not able to paint this now, but I'm saying this, saving this to my art playlist for later. I love the work you guys do. Everything you paint is just absolutely beautiful. Valerie, thank you. I appreciate it. Be sure and get yourself the booklet, the free booklet. The that, free booklet. The booklet. The booklet to help the painting. So I'm going to just sign here with my little detailed brush in a really weird way, because it's been a minute since I sent a big canvas, too. Huh. Yeah, I think we figured out it was like seven months. Second, <laughs> a, a couple little bit. Months. All right, let's turn around. Woo! All right, see, so there you go. Santa's sleigh. All right. 
Now, we will be here uh, Tuesday night at 5. Um, I'm still kind of working out the schedule and everything, so it may be a technique. It may be a painting. <laughs> Depends on how things go. Probably technique. Uh, and next Saturday, we'll have another one of these big lessons with the step-by-step -step and everything going with it. Uh, my mom is uh, live uh, Monday night, uh, so try to catch her because she's going to be live uh, Monday night. And she's not like me. She's totally different. <laughs> You want something kind of different, kind of fun? She's my, like, I'm not mini. I'm not mini ginger. <laughs> but I'm, I'm ginger tangential. <laughs> thank uh, you, guys. Thank you nice. so much. We're going to be giving you a nice long uh, goodbye that you can do. Don't forget to um, go by and grab your free PDF. Don't forget to, you know, pin everything on Pinterest and do all the things and follow and like and subscribe. So you get notified. You can sign up for our texts and do all the things. Uh, congratulations on the mouse pad. I don't know what else to say. I think I'm just good. So I've been here so long, I don't know how to say goodbye. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. much less crazy now saying at an easel.